GarryFish360, what's happening people? How are you doing YouTubers? I hope you're having a lovely day. In the UK today it's proper windy and nasty and cold. You just don't want to leave your yard. Um, this is a video on how do you bloody keep your Jack Dempsey's, electric blue Jack Dempsey's alive. How do you do it? How do you get them beyond two inches? Because this is like a call out for help basically because I've gone through none of these guys now and I know a couple of people just bought more than I have and they've all got to a two inch size and start acting like this this is what they start acting like all sulking moody in the corner like I had four of them and they all popped off slowly one by one and they're not they're not cheap fish as well they're expensive they're like 25 pound to nearly 30 pound a pop and you get them smaller than this and that's how much they're priced at and it's mental and the only reason why people grab these guys is because of this that coloration now these colorations are normally better than that but he's acting all moody and he's not acting like the same fish so this is a question now to all you youtubers especially the ones out there who's watching this who does breed electric blue jack Dempsey and gets them beyond this size can you please explain to me how do you do it and kind of enlighten me how do you do it because all mine just act like this and then they die no swollen belly, no bite marks, no nothing, they just drop off and die it's mental, I understand that they got a disease and they were more prone to disease but truth be told I don't think I've had any, like, none of them's had no marks or no diseases or no bite marks, nothing they just all die. My water quality is good. The with fish, that's like the with four um, Bailey sharks and two knife fish. Which knife fish? I know they could be a little bit aggressive, but they're harmless. They never ever bother the Jack Dempsey's. So I can't understand why this is happening. It's beyond me. I'm really, 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 really confused. So. Guys out there, can you give me a, a help please and like leave comments below and what is the best way of, or if anyone's got stories of like them living beyond their ages or better, if anyone's got video updates from them being young and what they're eating until they get adults, that would be even more better. But I don't know, I'm starting to actually give up on this fish. A couple of my friends already turned around and said to me, Scott man, I don't know why you're wasting your time. And I'm like, I do not know why myself. It's just the coloration. It's such a pretty fish. It's gorgeous. Stunning. Especially when you've got a couple from swimming around the tank. And the hard thing that I can't get around my head as well is um, they're not a, like a, a abomination or hybrid or nothing. They are a Jack Dempsey. And we all know Jack Dempsey's are quite tough little fish, man. Like, they hold their own. We all know about Jack Dempsey. You put them in the tank. They may only grow about, put a maximum about nine if you're lucky, or eight inches or something like that. And, but they've got a punch in them. And it's a tough, tough fish. And it's solid. But I can't believe this thing comes from them. No man's intervened of making these. These were found in the wild. Between Jack Dempsey's, obviously with Blue Jean, or whatever's happened. And, but it's weird. It's like, it's like they're giving up like looking so tough for, for more colour. But when they're giving up their toughness, they're more fragile and more prone to just dying. Dying, dying, dying. Bloody retard fish. I'm sorry, but I love it. But And this is the mad thing. I name all my fish as well. I never name these. I name, name the four first. First four I got, and they all died. I went, you know what? I'm going to name them once they pass five inches. And, and that hasn't happened yet. So, guys, if you can help me out, and leave comments below. It would be a big help. Definitely, definitely will make me feel a bit better about myself because it's, it's heartbreaking a little bit because these are stunning fish, especially when you get them like Diddy, like that Bailey shark, and you grow them out and you get them this little chunky and you think, yeah, you think, yeah, this is the moment. This is the time. This is what's going to happen this time. They're going to survive. And then next day, flick your light on, dead. And your brain automatically goes, what the fuck? Sorry about the swearing, but it's just like, it's just consistent with these guys. I just wish, wish they grow into adult size and they're strong. But if anyone knows the better way to make these guys live stronger and stuff like that, please let me know. The water condition's perfect. 
got enough filtration going on there. They've got plants for oxygen. They've got everything that they need in there. But they're just doing this. Jamming in the corner. Ready to die. Oh, I'm so pissed because I never did a video on these guys before. I had four of them in there and they look so sick. But I didn't bother because my gut told me this was going to happen. And I was right. So guys, please leave a comment below. I think I talked enough. It's, I had a BF moment, but that just really stresses me out a little bit because the one, they're expensive. Two, they are absolutely stunning and so pretty. And three, it's the most frustrating thing I've ever come across with fish. I always seem to have my fish to live to nice big sizes, get them progressing. And at the moment, I feel like I've hit a brick wall. So guys, Help me smash this brick wall down and let me get this down to a T because I would love to get a breeding pair. But anyway, this is Ghetto Fish 360. Uh, enough love, guys.